Welcome to the session. Today we are going to learn about input and output statements. Input and output statements are used to read and the write the data in the C program. They are embedded in studio.h. We have two types of input and output statements. Those are formatted and unformatted. Uh, when coming to formatted statements, we have input statement is we have scanf statement as a input and the printf statement as the output statement uh, when coming to in unformatted statements we have get char get ch get ch get s as input statements and put char put ch put s as output statements let's see each one in detail first formatted input output statements first one is scanf this is input statement it reads the values from the console as per the type specified. Console means the output screen, which we will get the output. The syntax of the scanf is scanf open braces or double inverted commas percentage x uh, comma ampersand variable of x type. Here, uh, percentage x is the format specifier in C. We have so many format specifiers in C to um, by this format specifiers, we can know which data type we need to use, like percentage D, percentage C, percentage S, percentage F, etc. And the ampersand is the address operator in C, which tells the compiler to change the real value of this variable stored at this address in the memory. Okay, uh, that means uh, ampersand. Uh, if we have the variable A, the uh, in the address of A, we will store the value which we read. Next, printf statement. Printf statement it prints the values passed as the parameter to it on the console screen. For this, the syntax is printf percentage x comma variable of x type. Same. Uh, previously we saw that percentage x as a format specifier. Same here. We, here also we are using format specifier. Now let us see one example. Hash include stdio.h, it is a header file. Uh, this stdio.h consists of this printf and scanf statements. These are built in, uh, built in statements. Int main, it is the main function. And here we have declared three variables of different data types. Here num is a variable of integer data type, ch is character data type, f is float data type. Now, first we are using printf, printf statement enter integer that means first it will print the this thing in the console next scan f percentage d am present none that means uh, this is the format specifier for the integer so we are using percentage d here we will read the value of uh, integer data type next we are printing those value okay next enter character here we are reading character character data type so we are using percentages we can use percentage c for the character for the character data type we have two format specifiers percentage c and percentage yes for the character we will use percentage c and the, for the string we will use percentage s here for reading we are we have using we have used percentage yes then here enter float here we are entering the float uh, float value so we are using percentage f it is the format specifier for the float data type so we are using this then after reading we are printing this value now we will see the output see here we have entered first they it, it printed enter integer then we have given the input as 2 then it is showing the output as the integer is 2 then similarly uh, for we have entered a character a then the output given is the character is a then we have given the float value as 2.5 then the output is uh, the float is 2.5000 that means for the float data type float data type means after point we will have the six digits so here see we have given only 2.5 but it is showing output as 2.500000 that's all the formatted input and output now we will see unformatted input and output statements 
unformatted input output functions work only with the character data type that means uh, in this unformatted input output uh, we will we can't use integer float double these data types we can use only character data type the unformatted input functions used in c are get ch get ch get char get test the unformatted output statements in c are put ch put char and put ch among these functions some are alphanumeric and some are only for characters now let us see each one in detail first one get ch the syntax of get ch is variable name equal to get ch here the get ch functions reads the alphanumerical character input from the user but the entire character will not be displayed that means uh, when we give a character it will not be displayed on the console that is get ch statement now we will see the get ch the syntax of get ch is variable name equal to get ch it is similar to get ch but it reads alpha numerical character from the user uh, and the character you entered will be echoed echoed means it will be displayed until until he or she presses any key that means uh, if we enter uh, some character it will dis display to us until uh, if we uh, we press enter key then like get ch and get ch also accepts a only single character but unlike get ch and get ch displays the entire character on the screen unlike get ch get ch displays the entire character on the screen the only difference between get ch and get ch is get ch will not uh, will not be displayed uh, display the character get ch will display the character now let's see after um, get char the syntax of get char is character variable name equal to get char get char function reads the alpha character from the user input here character you entered will be stored in the mentioned character variable that means when we give the input character it will stores the those character in the character variable name next get text get text means it is used for string uh, the syntax of get text is get text of variable name get as accepts any line of string including spaces from the standard input device that means uh, uh, we will give the input from keyboard it will it will accept any line of string but uh, get as stops reading the character from keyboard only when enter key is pressed we can enter anything after uh, when we enter the enter key is pressed the get as stops reading this is the function of the get as then uh, these are all the input functions now we will see the output functions put ch syntax of put ch put ch of variable name semicolon put ch displays any alphanumerical characters to the standard output device it displays only one character at a time uh, it will display the value of the variable name uh, it will display only single character then put char it is also similar to the put ch the syntax of this put char is put char of variable name. Put char displays only one character at a time to the monitor. That means output screen. And these put ch and put char are both are similar. Now put ch. Put ch means it is used for the string. Syntax. Syntax of put s is put s of variable name. Put s displays a single or paragraph of text to the standard output device. Next, we will see examples. See here, first we are uh, giving the header file, then the main function. We have declared one character, char ch. Now, then we have printer statement, enter character. So, it is printed enter character. Next, for ch, we are using get char function to read the value. So, because of this function, we are entering here here reading a value then printf enter character is this is printing here then we are printing with the help of put char function put char of the variable name is ch so we have given here ch semicolon then it is printing a this is the function of 
uh, example of get care and put care functions. Now let us see get s and put s. We have given here a header, header files stdo.h, conio.h, then the main function. Here we have declared one string care str of 20, it is the size of the string. Then we have a printf statement enter string. Enter string is here. It is uh, printed first enter string. Then get s of str. That means we need to read the value of string. Here we are given mvrs. That is the string name. Then we have printf statement enter character is. So it is entered character is. Then we have given the put a statement to print the uh, uh, which have, we have read string put s of str str that means uh, it has to print the what we have read so here we have read mvrs so it is printing mvrs that's all the today's section guys if you have any doubts please comment us below thank you